I'm obsessed with your outfit. Where is it from? I could tell you, but I'm gonna do one better. Let's raid my closet. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to episode one of Rag Raiders. I am here with someone so special. Hi, I'm Clara, also known as Tiny Jewish Girl, and this is my closet. I'm so excited to be here with you today. We're gonna ask a lot of questions about style, personal style, sustainability, fashion, all of the things, and let's get into it. How would you describe your style in three words? Expressive, colorful, and whimsical. Love that, and if I were to ask you to describe your style in three words 10 years ago, would it be the same words, or you've evolved? The beginning of 2013, I was a Tumblr girls, so I would say soft grunge, Tumblr, like those are the three words. It was <laughs> kind of tragic, a lot of Jeffrey Campbell flat form sneakers, the mm -hmm. ripped jean shorts with the studs, denim vests, band t-shirts. Do you know the content creator Internet Girl? Yeah, of course. So in like 2013, she had a completely different aesthetic and okay. I was obsessed with her, I worshiped her. Also, Too Poor, completely different aesthetic. I was obsessed with her, worshiped her, and I feel like those were my biggest fashion inspirations at the time. Who or what made you passionate about style? I feel like I was instilled with a love of fashion um, by my mother. She really raised us to want to encourage her to shop. So we'd go to the mall and we'd we'd go to a store like Limited 2 and then we'd be like, Mom, please, can we go to Theory? Oh I want to see you try on clothing. And I think it was like a self-serving thing, but also she, I think she just really enjoys shopping the way I really enjoy shopping. Obviously, I've been following you for a long time. I'm standing here in basically a rainbow of clothing. Why is color so important to you? When I was a freshman in high school, I had undiagnosed bipolar disorder and I was in my first ever depressive episode. I have nothing else to look forward to. I look forward to getting dressed. So wearing bright colors and celebrating myself is such like an awesome way for me to feed into that excitement about the next day and like to make sure that my day is gonna be happy in at least one way. Who are some of your style inspirations? I am obsessed with costume design and the costume designer Ariane Phillips who did Hedwig and the Angry Inch, Tank Girl, and a bunch Ooh. of other things. I think I'm most obsessed with her costume design. I really loved like the fifth element. I think my biggest fashion inspiration is our movie characters. Early 2000s and late 90s movies that are about the future. That's where I get the most of my fashion inspiration at this point in time. How do you organize your closet, especially like New York City, tight spaces? It's a struggle. What are your thoughts on that? So people always assume that this is my closet, but this is my living room. I actually have four closets. I have underbed storage and I have another clothing rack in my bedroom. What's your most worn item? These are my favorite pants of all time. They are Stella McCartney era Chloe. They're fall 2001, which is her last collection for them. And I truly treasure them. The back pockets with the double zip and the hands on Sick. the butt. Obviously these are one of one and you will never get rid of them. You might be buried in them. But for anyone that is seeking a rare archival piece like this, do you have any like keywords on eBay that you try to keep in the back pocket? This is a hot tip, but avoid keywords altogether. The way that you find Chloe, Stella McCartney era Chloe for cheap, because I think these were about $45. You just need to search Chloe and then look through everything. Like look through hundreds and hundreds of pages of eBay. Because if you search Chloe jeans, vintage Chloe jeans, the person who owns them probably knows what they are and they know how to price them. Whereas if you just search Chloe and you search and you find jeans, like, and you know how to identify it because you've looked through the runways yourself, mm. that is the key to getting these deals. Okay, I'm selfishly so excited to ask this one. What is your most expensive item? It is this Miu Miu skirt. It's one of the low rise new ones and I bought it new in Milan. It was a pretty penny and I'm not into buying designer things new. I'm normally like waiting till the next season, waiting for a sale, but it's just so hot and so perfect with the little oh, Miu Miu. We're gonna get a close up of that, sexy. What is the oldest item you own? Back to my mom. This item is a dress from the 50s, like 50s housewife vibes that she thrifted when she was in college in the 80s. What's your favorite way to style this? Do you kind of let it speak for itself or you go maximalist? I kind of let it speak for itself. I like to wear it with all black. Like maybe I'll wear a pearl necklace, an ode to the 50s housewife, but then I'll wear some biker boots or something really tough on the bottom to balance it out because like this type of hyper feminine thing isn't my vibe, like I'm more of like a revealing hyper feminine vibe. Okay. And so the the vintage thing isn't me, but I make it kind of ironic. 
Yes, we put like a little edge on it, something that makes it signature Clara, but an ode to your mom. What's your best thrift find? I cannot take credit for this one, but this is the greatest thrift find of all time. Like it just has to be. So my mom's friend, Marlene, fabulous. She's given me so much clothing over the years, a lot of hand-me-downs. She was at a consignment store in Connecticut and she found this Vivian Tam mouse skirt, one of like the rarest, most sought after pieces from collectors for $25. I studied a lot of conceptual art and I think that this as a conceptual art piece is great. It's incredible. I appreciate it so much. I don't wear it often because I don't seek to offend if people don't have the context, but like as an archivist and a collector, this is it. What's something in your closet that has an amazing sentimental value to you? My mom wore this fabulous dress to my bat mitzvah, yes, with that huge chest cut out. <laughs> and I'm gonna admit right now, it's too big on me. It doesn't fit me, but I like treasure this and I will treasure this for the rest of my life because how iconic and attention seeking, like just, totally fabulous. So many of you won't know this, but Clara and I actually did this type of series like two years ago, maybe a year and a half, two years ago. Yeah, I don't even know. And you showed me one of the most iconic items of clothing I've ever seen. And now we're here, IRL, what is happening? These are my Marc Jacobs micro shorts. They are jacquard. I wish I remembered what collection they're from, but they don't cover anything. And TikTok hates them. They're <laughs> so divisive, but I love them, even though TikTok says they look like a pea stain diaper. Rude, I would so literally rude. never say that. Rude, sorry, Mark. But like, you know, the high cut on the side, the dolphin cut, so cute, and the little pocket. And again, they, they, they cover nothing. They, but they're stunning. Yeah. How would you style them? But I really like them with knee-high boots. Like mm -hmm. I have some gray Margiela knee-high boots. Do you want me to grab them? I think she needs to grab them. Okay, so we feel like we would style them with these gray. These are Margiela's. Yeah, and something itty bitty on top too. Like I feel like we go all out with the tiny stuff. Like I have this amazing silk Emilio Pucci bra that I got at Beacon's Closet in 2018. Mm. That's kind of the vibe. Okay, we are here lovely sitting amongst these jewels so that you can walk me through some of your favorite accessories. I love all of my 12 New York jewelry, but I'm a sucker for tooth jewelry, as you're gonna see. This one is doll chunk. I love tooth jewels. I have some real tooth jewels, but I didn't take them out because it feels a little bit morbid. <laughs> these are blueberry, by far my most worn. They're just so perfect, and I wear a lot of baby pink, and both of these go so well with baby pink. These three are all custom pieces by different bugs. This one is so gorgeous. This one, I said I wanted an Anne Boleyn choker, so it's A, B, C. C for Clara, and then the rest of the alphabet. So fabulous. And this is my first one from Different Bugs, and I think the colors are so good. It goes well with a lot of my wardrobe that isn't pink, and obsessed. This is by Ian Charms, and it is so beautiful and random, but the colors suit me so well. These are vintage rave wear, and I actually have matching bracelets and a matching rave set, a top and shorts. Last but not least is my Gloom X School headset. <laughs> they started designing it for me when I had long hair, but by the time I was bald and it came, like. We're putting it on. Oh. Stunning. Stunning. It's perfect. It's perfect. You can't take it off now. It just works with the outfit. <laughs> Favorite color to wear? Pink. Hardest color to wear? Red. Favorite accessory? Oh, uh, my pearl choker. A must have for every wardrobe? A good pair of jeans that you can sit down and eat in. Is fashion serious or fun? Fun. What item or trend should be set on fire and never seen again? I don't think I can be rapid with that one. I think that's a really deep philosophical question. Mm. I think for me, I'm probably never gonna wear stretchy skinny jeans again. Maybe 100% cotton denim skinny jeans, there could be a case made for them, but for me personally. You could only shop at three stores for the rest of your life, what are they? Online shopping and it's eBay, Poshmark, and Essence. It's kind of cheating, but I totally agree. Okay, my friend, before we say goodbye, where can everyone find you? At Tiny Jewish Girl on TikTok, Instagram, and a little bit of Twitter. A light Twitter edge. Okay, fair enough. Well, you have been officially rag rated. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you everyone for watching. Go follow Rag Report to see who we rag raid next.
Bye.